Rose found and secured this hallowed fragment of the Emperor's living will. Now, we will claim it back in the name of the Imperium. My name is Jost von Marburg. I serve the Emperor as an Inquisitor of the Ordo Xenos, devoted to the destruction of those species who oppose the rightful domination of mankind over the galaxy. To that end, I have spent decades of my life studying one of the most elusive and mysterious space hulks. The Forsaken Doom. A name spoken in terror by starship crews, the shadow in the night. A myth, a horror, and all too real. Drifting randomly in and out of the warp for millennia, this gargantuan agglomeration of wrecks has been the grave of countless space marines. Ultimately, each chapter's defeat was lost to the ages and forgotten, leaving the Imperium in ignorance. For the Forsaken Doom is the lair of grave perils. The most dangerous of them, the gene stealers that swarm and multiply in grotesque profusion. The vanguard of the Tyranid threat, infesting ships and planets, spreading like an insidious plague. These creatures are merciless, ravenous monsters. They form a collective body of highly evolved intelligence, driven by a common will for the extermination of all life unlike them. Though some of its parts are far more ancient, the first contemporary records of the Forsaken Doom date back to the beginning of the 41st millennium, when a party of ultramarines boarded the Great Hulk on a mission of purification. What fate awaited them there has never been revealed. Until now. Ventaria squads in command. We have boarded the derelict. Confirm. Brother Sergeant, we detect multiple life forms inbound. Acknowledged. This vile wreck is infested with the Xenos. We will purge it. We are steel and doom. The arrival of the Adeptus Astartes awakened the brood. Slowly but surely, the gene stealers were emerging from their sleep, their synapses saturated by a feral thirst for blood. The biological communal intelligence of the Xenos was about to clash with the doctrinal will of the Ultramarines.
God of the Fallen. He will be avenged on a crag. was taken by those living nightmares. Assuming command. Vengeance shall be ours, brothers. Stand by to deploy Scorpion turrets. This is Squad Mithraea. Acknowledge. We may have found a way to destroy this section of the Hulk. Do you read? As the fight grew in intensity, more monsters were stirred to join the fray. Unknown biodivergent gene stealers emerged to engulf the Ultramarines. These biomorphic monsters were to be the dark curse of the Forsaken Doom. Cunning and brutal, the Gene Stealers slaughtered Squad Vandarius to the last man. For the Ultramarines, it was a setback that needed immediate reprisal. But the Brood was now fully active, as the warriors of the 13th chapter would learn to their great cost.
squad Mithraea had found a weakness in the structure of the derelict. An ancient network of plasma energy conduits was still functional, and their destruction would likely split the space hulk into fragments. Meanwhile, their battle brothers in Squad Vandarius worked to activate their sentry turrets. But the Gene Stealers were not idle in the face of these invaders. Lurking close to the Marines in the corners and recesses of the wrecks, a rare type of biomorphic Gene Stealer was about to launch a crushing assault. Entering an old vessel. Watch for any trucks the great skins may have left behind. How could such a disarray ever function as a starship? Orkish contractions are unstable. Do not open fire unless you have a clear line of sight. Explosive materials and fungal growths are everywhere. Perhaps you could turn that to our advantage. Use them to kill the Xenos. Septimus reporting in. These energy conduits are heavily armored. There is no other option. We need to destroy them with a shot from the plasma cannon. Understood, brother sergeant. Plasma cannon stands ready to cleanse and burn. We are steel and doom. The Imperium of Man approaches its darkest hour. Its defenders lie scattered, spread thin across the darkness. 
constant assaults bombard us from all corners of the galaxy. Wars led by the insidious alien Xenos. Limping home from one such brutal confrontation, the Great Battle Barge Blood Crusader is waylaid by a panicked distress call from the Forge World planet of Gorgonum. A colossal space hulk has emerged from the heart of a warp storm and lies on a collision course with the Forge World. This monstrous conglomeration of wrecked starships adrift in the void for eons The Great Derelict is a mass of secrets and dangers. And in their vast echoing chambers lurk swarms of deadly creatures, the worst of which are the Gene Stealers. Fanged, six-limbed, unrelenting and savage. They exist only to consume all life and to spread across the stars like a virus. A single squad of the Emperor's finest space marines is all that stands between this terrible threat and billions of human lives. The noble brothers of the Blood Angels go to meet their fate in the dark recesses of the Space Hulk. Thank you. 
This is Sergeant Taharia. In the name of Sanguinius and the Emperor, the squad stands ready. Bless your weapons and advance. What's all here? My boss begs for you to move form nearby. Could be seen us. Keep your weapons bright, brothers. Hold your fire until we make visual contact. Blood Crusader to strike team. Sergeant, this is Captain Obaldo. We read you on scry sensors. Visual feeds from your combat cameras are clear. You will, brother Captain. How do you wish us to proceed? We were summoned to destroy this Hulk, and so we will. A world lives or dies on our victory this day. The Adepts suggest you attempt to locate an ammunition store or an energy core that might be induced to detonate and fracture the derelict. Make your way deeper into the wreck. You know the drill, Sergeant. Deploy your squad and advance with caution. Dispatch any opposition you encounter without mercy. Acknowledge. Brother, I know it has been some time since you were last deployed as Field Commander. This squad has been thrown together by circumstance, and none of your men have fought alongside each other before. This is not an ideal situation, but I trust your courage and your skill. Your faith in me will not be misplaced, brother Captain. You shall not fail. Taking up the 
position. Scanners detecting multiple contacts inbound on your position. You have awakened a swarm! has collapsed. The gene stealers will surely take advantage of the breach. Sergeant, hold! I see Astarte's power armor on the visual feed. Go in for a closer look. Indominus Patton Terminator plate. And the chapter colors are those of the 13th, the Ultramarines. I'd warrant this kindred battle brother perished here many decades ago. It appears the Blood Angels are not the first Space Marines to board this hulk. Perhaps we can access this Fallen Sun's combat recorder. Theoretical. Our position will be overrun. We cannot hold. Tactical. Evacuation sequence has been initiated. It will not be enough. 200 life forms approaching. Brother Ilarion is dead. I am low on ammunition. They're everywhere. Ah! The Ultramarines were overwhelmed and slaughtered. But why were they here? Move on, Sergeant. Perhaps this mystery will unfold as you proceed. Yeah. 
We have a target in sight. Gene Stealer presence confirmed. I repeat, Gene Stealer's confirmed. Suffer not the alien to live. All warriors fire at will. First blood. Mark it well, kinsman. But be wary. These Gene Stealer filth never act alone. More will be coming.
This is Sergeant Aria. We have reached the waypoint as instructed, awaiting command. Sergeant, I have deployed additional Battle Brothers to your location. A heavy weapons bearer and Apothecary will join your squad. Wait. An Imperial warship is approaching the Blood Crusader. It bears the penance of the Inquisition. Attention, sons of Sanguinius. This is Inquisitor Jost von Marburg, acting on behalf of the Holy Ordo Xenos of Terra. Stand to and prepare to receive new orders. This is Brother Captain Obaldo, commander of the Blood Crusader. Tell me, Lord Inquisitor, how was it possible for you to receive the distress call from Gorgonum? The warp storms in this sector are smothering all long-range astropathic communications. We received no signal, Captain. We knew the Space Hulk would be here. Our records call it the Forsaken Doom, and we have been aware of it for a long time. You knew. And yet, you sent no advance warning? It is not your place to question the will of the Inquisition, Blood Angel. The Ordo Xenos has a special interest in this particular derelict. It changes nothing. Your mission is to attempt to save Gorgonum. You may proceed with my blessing. Lord Inquisitor, I must speak. This is Wailtran Lerzak, Fabricator General of the Forge World Gorgonum and faithful servant of the Machine God. I beg of you, we desperately need the support of the Ordo Xenos. I have no troops, no battle retinue to offer. I am merely here to observe. Observe, my lord? And may I ask why you will not intervene? You may not, Captain. Very well. Inquisitor. As for you, Fabricator General, my battle brothers have a mission and an enemy to kill. By the throne's light, that is all the Emperor's angels require. We are most grateful, honored Captain. Although it may not be enough to halt the derelict's advance, Gorgonum's planetary and orbital defenses are at full alert. We will open fire on the Hulk when it is within range. My crew and my kinsmen will take the brunt of this fight, fear not. But your expertise would be welcome aboard the Blood Crusader. Our ship still bears the wound of our last battle. I would bid you send us your most learned tech priests and all supplies you can muster.
Rotation complete. In position. Like and share if you enjoyed the video and think others might benefit from this. And of course, subscribe and hit the notification button if you are new to the channel and want to be notified every time I post a video.